Welcome back to the Beef and Barnsey channel. Please like and subscribe. And today we're going to talk another Real Talk review, this time with the Storm Revenant. 250-054-R3S with Reacta Gloss. Let's get to our one game uncut and see what it looks like. All right, back here at AMF Louisville, following the Coffee Breakers League. So there's been a little bit of plastic go down the lane. But again, uh, new ball in the Thunder line of things, mid-price. Whoa. That would have taken a small miracle to get that one back. Uh, so uh, sometimes, I guess some places on the house shot that would make it back, but... Uh, but not in this one. So, that's how you know the real ones in this, in our review. And that's what happens to a 50 year old when you take too long in between shots. But uh, again, this is 250, so it's medium RG. Uh, 254, I'm sorry, 254, so it's actually kind of medium to high RG in today's world. 050 dip, flares quite a bit. React to gloss finish. Uh, this one seemed to come, it wasn't super, super shiny, and I have not touched it at all yet. So, Let's see if we can throw it a little better than we did the last one. There we go. Really, on this house shot, 7 8 is probably as far right as you really want to get it. Uh, in league here the other night, I actually used an infinite physics and threw it. I had to throw it pretty slow because there's so much oil down down lane. Uh, so I wasn't sure if this ball was really going to hook enough. And uh, so far, though, it seems like it's okay. Certainly can't throw it hard. Now you see it pick up a little bit. So now we're getting loose. <laughs> uh, later on, I will test it up against... The two balls I think that are closest to it, at least in numbers, uh, in a night road and a fate. Uh, and we'll kind of see what those look like. So, I didn't show you the drilling, but this is a five inch by five inch by three inch uh, drilling. So the pin is uh, a little above the bridge, a little to the, just slightly left of it. That's pretty standard for me. I don't do too much that's in the four and a half range. So now that we're getting loose, so I'll move a couple boards left here. Probably about three. Try and target around 17, keep my speed down a little bit. So uh, out here practicing with uh, junior, junior Team USA member, Ryan Barnes, always home for college. Uh, he makes this one look a little different than I do. He throws it uh, considerably harder, and uh, it makes that same move without uh, having to be slow. That one's a little in. I don't know. If... All right, picked up out of the puddle. R3S in general should be a step above R2S. Uh, as far as in strength. So it should be a little stronger. Uh, in my opinion, I think it, it's gonna be a, just a touch below the uh, Rex covers as far as maybe direction down lane. So, okay, now I'm gonna move like three, four left, four or five left actually, and throw one slow or really slow. See what kind of shape, well, and that tells you a little bit about the actual strength of the cover there because it got an oil and like I said we had some coffee breakers here the senior league was in front of us so there's a lot of plastic balls going in the lane and it still picked up so that's pretty good news so I'm not really doing this to show off that I can throw it a bunch of different ways I just wanted to see what it does when you do the things now I'm going to move uh, uh, five right of where I was uh, maybe actually five or six. So uh, ten right of the last shot. Much firmer. Still arcs off that spot, so not too bad. This ball is going to be more for when the lanes are hooking. 
uh, it appears for me at least. So with that higher RG, you're gonna want a little friction somewhere in the lane. Uh, it will be uh, a step off of certainly the infinite physics, uh, those kind of phase two Zen Soul, those kind of medium balls. I'm gonna throw another one from the right, moving a little further right. Might have caught that one. Yeah. So, keeps a pretty good shape for medium speed, firm speed, it doesn't miss the lane. Slow speed, it made it back. Now we'll cycle back around to where we were, maybe add a little rotation and see if it ends up being too sideways, too long, or if maybe we got somewhere in the Goldilocks range. Lots of rotation and in, in and a little bit long. And that's where you can tell it's not quite a strong enough ball for this particular pattern maybe, but uh, again, for uh, medium to medium dry, I think this is going to be a transition ball off the fate, the infinite physics. Uh oh. That's why I use a spare ball. $199 in the eighth on a spare, so halfway decent game. Uh, let's go back and go left and see if we can. It looks like with a slow wheel. That is right in the middle of the puddle. And it did pick up, so not terrible. From an actual reaction standpoint, from an execution standpoint, that was pretty miserable. Again, if you're watching this, if you would hit subscribe, like and subscribe. And since we're a very friendly channel, check out other guys' reviews and see what they think. You never know, there might be one on Barnsey Bowling before too long. An upstart channel. We'll throw one more at normal speed and kind of see what it looks like here. A little firm. So, here we go. One game uncut. And I believe it was uh, 235. So you get a look at the drilling. You said five by five by three. Uh, now I'm gonna throw up it against the fate, uh, the night road, uh, and an infinite physics, and we'll get a look at those balls. Next one up is the fate. Uh, the biggest difference here, this is more like five by six by one and a half or so, so a little taller pin overall, also react to gloss. Again, we'll stand in the same spot that we did with the Revenant. And that's pretty much where I two pinned on that last shot in a similar speed, so Again, a look, I think the Rex cover is a touch stronger than this, uh, at least in this version of, of uh, 3S, 3SR. Uh, I'll get a little slower here and kind of see what it looks like doing that. And that's where you can see it's actually a fair amount stronger, so I'm not really surprised by that. It, the Infinite Physics is going to be a little bit stronger than... Uh, the Revenant, so is the Fate. Uh, the next ball up will be the Night Road. Now the Night Road, uh, very similar, five, maybe five and a half to six, and then by three, three and a half. So all in the same range again. Uh, this one's shiny. This one has, uh, I think originally was 4K, so now it's got uh, uh, Reactor Shine, a thousand in the Reactor Shine. And I'll stand the same place that I did again with the Revenant. And the first thing that stood out to me there, and hopefully you can see on camera, is the night road's a little longer than all of those balls. So of the uh, of the four, it's longer, but it also made it back off of it. And so that's, I think 3RS is a little stronger overall in the mid lane, but Rex cover might be a little bit stronger down lane. 
So if I get slower with this one, and that's when it hits the friction, it goes a lot more sideways. And so uh, I think the Revenant overall is gonna fit in between. You're gonna have the infinite physics, it's gonna be your great middle benchmark, uh, you know, take advantage of how shots thing. Beef and Barnsley favorite for sure. The Fate is the next step down from there, then the Revenant, and then the Night Road for the drier lanes and stuff where you need to really create a lot more back end. But uh, that's what we have now. And so the Revenant is coming out soon from Storm 254050R3S, uh, uh, new stronger cover from Storm, coming out later this month. Uh, pick up this, check out more. Real Talk Bar Reviews on the Beef and Barnsley Show. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.